Welcome Scorpio. Okay, so we're looking at the next two weeks and what it is that you may need help with. Okay, using the Druid Wisdom. Okay, and also the Mystical Journey Oracle cards. And the Light Seers Tarot. Now, interestingly enough, I right before I went to press record, the fire alarm went off. For no reason whatsoever. And there you go. So, as I stood up to go and turn it off, it stopped. So I wonder if there's just something going on in your life that is interrupting, like a big interruption in your life. Um, that is sort of causing you to stop what you're doing and pay attention or there could be something that is needing attention in your life that you're not paying attention to okay um so yeah let's have a look here Scorpio what is going on for you right we're well, starting with the druid wisdom hopefully the alarm doesn't go off again to make it clear but if it does it'll be interesting to see how that all pans out Okay, so we've got far too many cards coming out here. Got the two of cups first off. Two more cards for Scorpio, please. That's two. Okay. Two of cups for Scorpio. Ah, there's two um there's two waterfalls here. I just want to cover up the writing before I start rambling on. Um, and those waterfalls are leading to the same body of water. So this is two, two somethings coming together, right? There's something very strange about the energy right now, Scorpio, I have to say. Things have just changed quite suddenly in the weather. With that fire alarm going off, weird. But anyhow, and when I initially saw this, I thought it was lightning. I thought there was lightning, but it's waterfalls. Anyway, okay, so Scorpio, two of cups. The heart you hold is pure and deep. Be sure of the company you carry and keep. Oh, yeah, Scorpio. Yeah. Meditate on the Two of Cups tarot card. A potential new partnership lies ahead. But I feel like be mindful, you know. This could be something that takes you way out by surprise. And, um, you know, you just weren't expecting it, right? We've had these two come out together and I'm not sure which one to take. So let me just see. Oh yeah, this one here. Um, okay, Castle of Crows. Castle, look at this. Um, ancient memories are accompanied by deja vu, deja vu. The crows signal your blessings and, uh, sorry, totally butchering that. The crows signal your blessings loud and true. I love that. Ancient memories are accompanied by deja vu. The cows signal your blessings loud and true. Crow, crows, not cows. Oh yeah, there's crows up above there, see? Yeah, anyhow. Uh, meditate with Moku stone in each hand and you will journey to shamanic lands. Okay, so it's M-O-Q-U-I, stone. Interesting. Anyhow. Druid circle. Old stones hold secrets better than past lovers could. Whisper your dreams to the standing stones and those wishes will come true. I wonder if it's these stones, the 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 Mokui, Mokui stones, Mokui stones. 
it says place pink opal by the bed for peace and calm if you can't get a hold of any of these things honestly what i would do personally is i would find a picture of it and set the intention that it's serving the same purpose okay so mm, interesting anyway let's have a look here scorpio this is going to be a fascinating reading let's have a look scorpio this card just jumped out and i put it back because i didn't like how it came out and it jumped out again so we're taking it i get the message See, this reminds me of the Two of Cups, actually. Two, two hands intertwining. Okay, but I also feel like this is you breaking through your own walls to go down a path, okay? It's sort of like it's leading into the castle, this, this staircase here sort of thing, right? See in the background there, this castle. Um, I, yeah, feel like this is necessary for you to do. There could still be some healing that needs to happen. Um, and yeah, because there's been Scorpio, some suppressed emotions that you haven't allowed to come to the surface. Okay. And it's like you need to allow someone to hold your hand as you walk the journey of the healing through that. And I just wonder if this is what is needed to allow yourself to pre be prepared for this relationship to come into your life, okay? Um, and if if you're already in a relationship, Scorpio, that's okay, um, because it could be a renewing of this relationship in a sense, okay, um, for it to actually transform into the type of relationship that you dream of because at the end of the day if if you were already in that there's quite a high possibility that you wouldn't even be watching this reading okay a lot of people come to readings because of love um one thing i'm adamant about with these readings is i don't like to focus on oh you're gonna meet the love of your life on the 2nd of january and you're gonna get married in june and yeah but that's not me but if it comes up and it needs to be addressed, I will address it, that's fine, you know, but I'm not about just saying what people want to hear to get the views, and to get the subscribers, and to get the likes, that's not what this channel is about, we're here for healing, so that you can live the best possible life that you can live, I'm here for you to do that, okay Scorpio, so yeah, anyway, Healing hands, two cards for Scorpio, the healing hands, please. Nine of cups. Oh, I love this. Look at this. All your dreams come true. Wishes fulfilled. But be careful what you wish for. Yeah? Be careful what you wish for. Because you just might get it. Okay. Um Sometimes we can have a perception of, of what it is that we would like to happen, but it's not, we, there's a lot of aspects to that that we don't always consider, okay? And um, and I feel like that that's quite important for you to be aware of, okay? One more card for Healing Hands. I'm seeing these two cards working in unison here. Oh, wow. Ten of Pentacles. This is very exciting here, Scorpio. Like, I can't deny the energy of this reading. But here's what I want to show you, what I'm seeing here. Is this, this healing here, breaking through these walls, right? Breaking through the floor. It's like... A seeds being planted and through the healing it gets to rise up and grow and this is you know um someone helping you with this healing um and and so by this then opening up for this to grow and this could be just someone supporting you or it could be in a relationship okay but just be mindful that if you haven't done all the healing that you need to do and get into a relationship that you're not projecting and there's not the codependency and you're not expecting someone to fill your cup for you okay anyhow 
So because it's been cracked open and the way has been made, it's like this nine of cups here, this person is able to then burst through with all this treasure into the light, right? Like this is absolutely incredible. And, you know, this is a relationship of, of everything you've ever desired. Like such a passionate, loving relationship, you know. Um, it's it's just as good as the Ten of Cups, if not better. You know, this is you building this abundance with someone else. Building a life with someone else. With someone that you're on the same page with. That you both, you know... <sighs> I, I always feel like, because a lot of people talk about compromising in a relationship, and I have always felt like there really shouldn't need to be compromise. Um, if it's a compatible relationship, you're going to work it work it to the point where you're both happy. There's no one compromising, and I feel like this is what this is. This is, wow. I totally want to be you. <laughs> um, Self-realisation. This is you understanding you, getting to who you are. Because I feel like for some of you, Scorpio, you feel like you're quite small. And I don't feel like you're actually this magnificent being that you are. And it's sort of you traveling the journey along the path to understand that, in fact, you go, you can go from this to this. This is, and, and it's sort of like this journey is what you're traveling to. Okay, and, um, and, but I don't know if you truly believe that that's what you possess inside, you know, that that's who, who you truly are, it's almost like that's what you would like to be, but it's not really um, what you believe you could be, you know, and, and, and this could even be about a relationship like this, maybe it's what you would like, but you don't actually believe that it's what you could get. Um, and that could be holding you back from actually getting to that, right? And maybe if you look at these beliefs and this belief system that you do have, Scorpio, that you will understand that, um, that see the patterns that are holding you back, you know? Um, and maybe those patterns are interrupting, when we're looking at the fire alarm here, interrupting this journey. Um, yeah. I wonder too... If this journey was interrupted by a tragedy in a past life and you're here in this lifetime to continue it with somebody. Self-realization. King of Cups. Okay. Okay. This completely brings me to this Druid circle here. Old stones hold secrets better than past lovers could. Whisper your dreams into the standing stones and those wishes will come true. So your past lovers weren't able to deliver what it was you wanted. They were able to um, make it seem as though they could by maybe romancing you and saying all the right things and giving you flowers and taking you on a picnic. But then they jump on that white horse and ride off again to go romance the next person, you know, and um, and I suppose the self-realization card is looking at why it is that you believed them, and that could very well be because you wanted to believe them, but you may have ignored all the red flags surrounding that because you wanted it to be true. Okay, um, so really getting in touch with yourself to know the castle crows here. The crows signal your blessings loud and true. I actually want to say that about this, I just wonder if the crows may represent your intuition and the crows are sort of symbolic of screaming at you to say a bit like the alarm again. Ah, danger, danger, watch out, watch out. Okay. Um, and on the flip side of that, I do want to say that um, sometimes it can be because of our past experiences and that we've been hurt before, we can believe that everything is 
dangerous like it's all just going to end up bad and a bit like the alarm going off the alarm goes off but there's no fire right there's not even any smoke but the alarm's going off and I just wonder if for some of you your internal alarm is forever going off but there's not actually any real danger so this self-realization card getting to really know yourself and the signals and the signs from past um, is going to help you to calm that alarm so that you can to begin to tr trust your intuition. Okay, so self-realization. One more card for self-realization. For the full. New beginnings. The new beginnings are here, okay? But the thing is, you're frozen, you're stopped, you're not proceeding forward. You're sort of waiting. And, and and I just wonder for you, Scorpio, that you're you're waiting out of fear. There's some sort of fear. You you want to you want what you want, but you're afraid of what you want. Because of what's happened in the past. Okay, honestly, Scorpio, connection, connection, this is connecting hearts, the connection of two hearts, this is pure, and this is authentic, and this is true, this is the sort of connection that no one can deny, right? This is the sort of connection that can cross cities and worlds and continents and oceans that can't be denied. But there's fear. There is fear. I want to have a look at the two of cups again. The heart you hold is pure and deep. Be sure of the company you carry and keep. And this could also be advice from outside forces. That pe there's, there's some people who may not want to see you happy. There's some people who may want to stand in your way. Be mindful of those people. And this is where you having the self-realisation is going to help you to tune out those people. To realise that there are people out there. Once someone shows that you who they are and proves themselves to you by maybe already not you know being there for you or and this is even in it could be in a work um relationship it could be in friendships could be a family ship whatever once sh someone shows you that be mindful okay and maybe just you know not lean too heavy into their advice your heart is what is going to tell you the truth here Okay, but the healing must be done in order for the heart to be heard because the heart may just react in fear right now unless that healing is done. Okay, um, yeah, we've got the nine of wands here. Okay, and this is you. This is sort of you in a sense have, I feel, self-protection, not allowing yourself to move forward. And maybe this is why the fool feels suspended here, like the why it doesn't feel like there's any movement. Um, excuse me. Um, I feel like the Nine of Wands, um, because you have been beaten down before and you have really, um, you know, had some really tough relationships and endured you know, some abuse, you know, um, it feels like you're actually carrying that weight of all of that, um, and this is where it's really important for you to open up and accept the help that you need in order for you to climb the fence, because the fence is, is not that big, it's not that difficult to climb over, but it's still holding you in, it's actually keeping you in um, it's keeping you in a paddock, uh, which is, it's sort of become familiar for you, so it's a comfort zone, but it's also uncomfortable, but sometimes it's, you can feel more comfortable in the uncomfortable, um, because we know it's 
okay? And that's not a criti criticism or a judgment. I've done the same thing before, you know? And it was needing to step over the fence into the unknown, into the scary thing, um, to actually move out of that energy and do the healing that needs to be done. Okay, we have the High Priestess as well. And this is what I was saying before about the intuition. Um, when we suppress feelings and hold them down and don't allow them to um, rise up and, and break through them, right, um, we are unable to hear our intuition. We, we well, well, you know, we talk about hearing the intuition, but I've experienced it as more as a feeling. Okay, we can hear an alarm, but... The intuition is different. It's a knowing and it's a feeling. So if, if we've got feelings and emotions that we haven't worked through, they are suppressing the intuition, okay, from rising up and, and being that guiding light and that guidance system that we need. Okay, so this is why everything may feel like a fire alarm because your intuition is being, um, it's being muffled. Okay, so Scorpio, cycles of life, ah, yeah, see this could be a past life. This could be needing to complete the cycle from a past life. And because sometimes when there are un is unfinished things in past lives, you know, that that's, can create a karmic cycle that we need to bring forward into this lifetime in order to complete it. So, um, yeah. Sorry, I was just seeing what else I got from that card. I thought something else was going to come through, but it hasn't. But these wings are sticking out to me here where they're just hanging and they're not quite in the right place. And I feel like maybe in this lifetime, it's it's your chance. Um, see, even they're here on top of the head. They're not actually, doesn't look to me like they're in the person's back where they could actually use them. That's me using my invisible wings to fly. <laughs> um to, yeah, to use them to fly, you know, um, so yeah, this is, this I feel also a Scorpio is you bringing through past life um, abilities to help you in this life, and this is where this healing needs to be done so that those can come forth, okay, to assist you, um, we have the Queen of Cups here, which is brilliant, because before when I was talking about filling up your cup and knowing what it's filled with, this is only your responsibility, nobody else's, and no one else can put that responsibility on you to fill up their cup, okay, so this is important for you to work on, okay, and we have the Eight of Pentacles, and this pretty much is representing to me, you working on filling up this cup with all the goodness there is, because what will then happen is you will um have this person come in and meet that okay because once you know what's in your cup and what you've filled it in up with right someone comes along with say a cup that's empty like this cup here is empty there's nothing in there there's nothing vibrating from that there's no energy about it he's put it on the on the picnic um blanket and as if, like, here, have these flowers, fill my cup, you know, um, and expecting you to do their work for them. You've got your own work to do. It's up to them to do their work. Okay, so when you do that and someone comes along with this empty cup, you're going to look at it, or even if it's filled, but if it's filled with murky, muddy waters to try and deceive you, you're going to be fully aware of that and go, yeah, nah, sorry, mate, off you go. Next. Okay, so um, this is you sieving through what you want to put in your cup and what you want to discard. Okay, and this does take work and it does take time, but boy, oh boy, is it worth it. Because once your cup is filled, you know what you're about. And you know what you'll accept and what you won't. And you know what your wishes are. And you know exactly what you're worth. Okay. Scorpio, this is awesome. Okay, next card for Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio
Scooby. Thank you. That's how I like it. Growth. Look at this. This is you with your cup here. Oh, it's not a cup. Is it a cup? No, it's not. It's growth. Look at this. Planting the seed. What do you want to plant here? How are you going to grow it? How are you going to nurture it? Right? This is the beginning of something brand spanking new that's all yours, that you're in control of. Do you want to grow something in the darkness that's not really going to be nurtured the way it needs to be? Or do you want to take it out into the light, into the sun to get all the nutrients that it needs in order for it to reach its full potential? You are the seed, Scorpio. You are the one that you are growing. What do you want that to look like? Tell me more about growth for Scorpio, please. I think this is also about you seeing the truth of yourself. That self-realization. You know, really coming to the understanding that you're pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. More than pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, look. Yeah, this is this. This is what you want. You want this cup here. Okay, you want to be embrace this energy of the Queen of Cups, and all you've get it, gotten is these empty, crappy cups, and you're like, seriously, when's it gonna happen for me? It will happen for you when you do the work required behind that. When you learn to fill your own cup with all the good stuff, is when you'll get that match come in. Okay, you'll get the equality because. You're only going to bring in a match for your vibration and for your energy. Okay, so when that is risen and it's heightened, um, then anything less than is going to automatically be repelled. Okay, it might sneak through, but you're going to be fully aware of that. Okay, um, but yeah, this is healing. This is the healing that needs to be done. You looking after your own heart. You taking care of your own heart. Not wanting to be with someone so that your heart gets healed. Healing it first so that you can have a healthy and fulfilling relationship, okay? So that you can mend the scars and the bruises that needed need to be mended in order for you to be able to give the same to someone else, you know? It's not just about receiving it for yourself, it's about giving it to someone else. That happy, healthy you. So yeah, Scorpio, this is really good. I love this reading for you because it's there, you know? The path is there for the taking. It just depends on whether you want to take it or not. Yeah. And who you want to take it with. So it's sort of like, it's sort of like training. You kind of like for a marathon in a sense. If you go into a marathon without having trained, you're unlikely to be successful in that marathon, right? But if you're trained and put the work in that you need to have done in order to complete the marathon, you're going to have success, okay? So, yeah, the path. Tell me more about the path for Scorpio in relation to this reading, please. The path for Scorpio. We have... Okay, Scorpio, first off, we have the Justice card. Okay, and this is you bringing everything into balance. Look at the two cups here. Love this. The two cups, both in balance because they're filled with the same goodness okay this is you reflecting also on yourself looking at yourself honestly and truthfully not not skiving over anything and pretending that nothing's there or i don't want to look at that so i won't it'll be fine i'll do all this other stuff but i'm not looking at that it's looking at absolutely everything okay and once you've done that the final card we have here 
is the lovers coming together. Coming together with a like-hearted soul. Not necessarily like-minded, but like-hearted. But highly likely you'll have the same belief system or whatever, you know, but this is, yeah, wow, Scorpio, this is incredible. I love this. I absolutely love this for you. And it's pretty exciting. So, yeah, there's work to be done. And it's not going to be over two weeks. Um, it's it's going to be, you know, but maybe some of you have been doing this work and you're making progress, you know. But this is a reminder to keep going. Keep going with the work, okay? And if you haven't started the work, start the work. Because this is what you're heading towards, you know. This. This here. Yeah? All this good stuff. And this is the energy that you deserve. Okay, Scorpio? I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.